Hey, I'm Trey Morgan, uh, the Command Chief for the 33rd Fire Wing. The biggest impact has been me sorting out again that that TBI versus the PTSD and a lot of those those symptoms and the way you feel and the way you internalize those are very similar so it was really muddied for me and, and I didn't know what, what physical injuries there were what emotional um, moral injuries I had sustained and, and they all kind of mixed together and I was definitely uh, it had blunted my emotions particularly with, with my family and friends and starting pushing everyone away so what I've noticed with the treatment is it helps uh, unclog that, sort those things out, and kind of bucket those appropriately, and, and really help me be able to communicate better to those that I, that I care about that this is what's going on with me. And I, I think the, the care that we get in, in centers like this, in, in NICO, really is just, particularly for the, the long term, uh, it, it helps significantly. So that, that's where it's impacted me the most and kind of able to help me focus on the mission and the family as well. So great help. I think uh, one of the most significant misunderstandings about TBI or, or PTS is is healing those invisible wounds. When we sustain, a, you know, uh, a visible wound when, when you amputate your arm or you have an injury, then you, then you have scarring that forms, and that, that scarring exists and it lasts and it may get irritated, and you have to deal with that. It, it's very similar with, with invisible wounds, and I think we come to, to centers like uh, the Intrepid Spirit Center to to heal. Those those invisible wounds, but I think we have to be cognizant that the healing of those wounds doesn't mean that they are gone. There's definitely scars that exist and they last and they impact uh, particularly the member, but also the family members and the teammates uh, of those around them. So I, I think we, we definitely want to continue forward healing, but also recognize that we have to tend to the scars as they flare up throughout an individual's life and, and throughout their service. I think one thing uh, that people are unfamiliar with is exactly what an intrepid spirit centers are, invisible wound centers. Uh, you know, the first question is, what is that? What do they do? And we throw in a TBI and PTSD, and sometimes you get the head nod going, yes, I understand that. But I think how broadly uh, these centers really help our, our service members because you have individuals that, that were uh, sustained injuries in combat, but it's much more than that. Uh, I think we have uh, injuries that were sustained in peacetime, injuries that, that continue on, and particularly the long-term treatment. So I think there's a misconception that you go in there and you go to uh, some mental health treatment with, with a psychiatrist or a psychologist and maybe get some MRIs and some brain scans to identify what's wrong, but really the holistic uh, view of how the treatment at Intrepid Spirit Centers uh, takes place and you're bringing out in the art therapy and the music therapy and bringing the, the different uh, disciplines together as an integrated team, uh, I think is completely understood unless you've absolutely experienced it.